Hello and welcome everyone. Welcome to this lecture. And in this lecture, I am going to show you how to add the 40 OS inside the EVNG. So we will um, add the 40 gate firewall. Uh, so you should have the EVNG already installed. If uh, you have not uh, installed the EVNG first, you need to go and watch the previous video wherein I have shown you how to install the EVNG. So I have um, the EVNG installed on my ESXi server. You can have it on your local machine in uh, your workstation. Uh, so uh, doesn't change the uh, method. Uh, method remains the same. Um, so first thing first, you need to go here and uh, you need to find out the IP address of your EVNG server, which is for me is on 1.50. Uh, I have logged into my EVNG server. I have my project. Uh, this is a blank project. Uh, and if I click uh, right click and hit on node and I scroll down to 40 gate, I see I have an image here. So this is an old one, the 40 gate firewall, which is version 6.0. I want a new one, the latest one, in fact. So for that, I need to go to the uh, portal, which is support.fortinet.com. And here you have to log in. If you have a account already created, if not, you can go and register for a free account here using your personal email ID. I'll just log in with my email ID. And once I'm in, okay, I need to log in. Okay, once I am in, um, then in order to uh, download the Fortinet um, OS, you need to click on the support drop down here. You can see in the under the download section, you have firmware download VMware VM images uh, because we are going to do a VM install. So I will go and hit on the VM images. Once I am here, then I have to select the pro product. So Fortinet has a different um, uh, I mean, multiple line of products. They have the ADC analyzer, 40 gate, which is the firewall and then the manager that the 40 web and extra so i am going to focus right now on the 40 gate and then you have to select the platform so for now we are using the evng which runs on the kvm platform but if you're using an esxi you can download the esxi version one if you're using microsoft hyper v you can go here if you're using any cloud uh you can just click on there so i'll click on the kvm and then the latest version which is 7.2.1 and i'll hit on download now I have already downloaded this. So if I go to my downloads, you can see this is already downloaded. This is a very small uh, image, 80 MB. And the best part is you get an uh, around 14 days of uh, evaluation period. I guess, yeah, we will see that. And uh, so if I go to my downloads and you can see already, I have downloaded this and extracted it inside this. So let me do it again. Uh, because I want to show you something. So the naming uh, matters a lot. So if you have to go to, um, uh, I would suggest you to go to this uh, uh, web page of EVNG and uh, go to the naming uh, uh, section, chemo image naming. And then you can scroll. So you can add, I mean, different type of uh, uh, so, uh, devices inside EVNG, right? So you may require this in the future. So let's now focus on the Fortinet itself. So every Fortinet image that you add, whether it's a firewall, a man, a mail, um, or a manager, you will have the name starting with the virtue dot virtue dot, um, I mean, starting with virtue dot qcow2 is the extension, right? So that is what you have to edit here. So if you just right click and extract this file like this, and it's extracted here inside, you will have something like this first. This is because I have already, um, uh, rename this file. So you have to rename it like this. Okay. So I'll go and delete this one. So this should be finally like this virtue.qcow. Now you can follow the uh, instructions on the EVNG website as well in the how to section, how to add the 40 wait, Fortinet images. So if you go to the Fortinet section, scroll down. Yeah. Fortinet images here. Now this is mostly the CLI commands that you have to use on use on the command line of the uh, EVNG, but uh, I prefer the GUI uh, GUI method which I'm showing you. Uh, 
so you have the image right you have the image you have extracted it you have renamed the image uh, you have renamed the image now what you need to do is you need to go and win a cp to your machine which is 192.168.1.150 or root and eve okay done now go to opt unit lab add-ons key move and here you have to basically create a new folder uh, with the name of fortinet small fortinet hyphen and then anything of your so fortinet remains to be there it is mandatory and then say fgt 7.2.1 okay enter now after this what you need to do is you need to drag and drop this file inside the folder that's it now you need to ssh to your um evng so i've already ssh to my no not this one so i'll open a putty ssh to my evng which is on 192 168 1 422 ssh open and login as root and eve okay and then you have to type the fix permission commands uh, so this is this one copy this and right click done one and do it twice just in case okay done two times now i can go here right click uh, before that let me just refresh it once right click go to the 40 net again now you'd see seven has appeared there so i'll go there now to uh, use the evaluation you have to stick to the one cpu and one gb of ram uh, you cannot change that uh, and you can change the ethernet so let's have six ethernet and now i'll just start the image and let's wait for this image to boot up i'll just double click so that a uh, session is opened and let's wait for this to boot up okay great so this is boot up so i'll um so the username is by default is admin and there is no password so you need to hit enter here now it will ask you to set a new password so i'll say admin one two three for myself admin one two three so yeah that's it um and you have successfully added the 40 gate firewall inside your evng so you all uh, you are all set up for the lab and i will see you in the next video um thank you